Blessed Grand Rising, Son of God, Daughter of God, welcome to Miss Tamari Daily Mood Podcast Live. Whoever you are listening in right now, I wish you an awesome day today, filled with positive vibration indeed. So today message is, guys, I don't know who you are listening in right now, but I want to remind somebody today that health is wealth. And beloved, you got to take care of yourselves. Somebody's listening in right now. You got to take care of your overall health. You got to take care of your spiritual life too, beloved. Because the spiritual life is just as important as your physical life indeed. What I mean by that? Well, I realize a pattern in society today that people will work, 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 work. And oftentimes when they work, they forget to feed their body, right? They forget to feed their body, right? Physically, right? Right on time. What I mean by that? What am I saying? I'm saying to say to somebody today, remember to feed your body. Remember to take care of your health. Your health is important. You are important. You are valuable. You are worthy. Whoever you are, beloved, that is listening in right now. Right? Just remember to eat on time and to eat right. Because if you don't do that, right, then you're going to end up spending and spending and spending, right? Yes, on yourselves. When you are to feed your body right on time beloved right what i mean by that well i'm saying to say guys that you see in life when you are that person and you just work and work and work and work and you say oh cho me can't bother to feed miss body right now right and you just work 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 right what do you think are gonna happen to your body your body not going to function properly. And situation don't happen immediately. It takes step-by-step -step process, beloved, for things in your body internally to start dysfunction. What am I saying? I'm saying to say to somebody today that God wants you to take care of you. To eat right and to eat on time. And if you don't do that, beloved. If you don't take care of you right now. Later on in life. You're going to feel the consequences of your own actions. So I don't know who needs this word today. Remember you. Because if you're not take care of you. Who is going to take care of you? If you don't feed your body right. If you don't take your spiritual life as well, then you're going to feel the consequences of your what? Your own action. What am I saying? I'm saying to say, guys, that you see, when you're a person and you don't eat the right things, you don't eat on time, and you caught up drinking a lot right and not feeding your body then things in your body is going to deteriorate and so you're going to end up spend 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 on yourselves what am i saying i'm saying to say that I realize a particular trait and pattern in society where people don't feed themselves properly and on time and feed their internal being as a man, as a woman. And when this happens, guys, the same money that they ought to feed themselves with in the beginning, right? The mafia spend as they get older in age. Because as you 
get up in age as a man, as a woman. And you never used to feed your body early on. Right? Things in your body is not going to function the way it ought to. Because you were not feeding your body properly from the beginning, guys. And this is a warning to those folks who continue to not listen and take heed and not taking care of themselves because beloved god love you he care for you he wants you to take care of you he wants you to remember you because you are worthy somebody's listening in right now you are so valuable in the eyes of god and if you don't do this for yourselves who's going to do it for you it start with you beloved and that's why you're hearing this message today because god wants you to take care of you and if you don't do that, right, later on in life, because things not happen same time, you know, guys, it takes what? Step-by-step -step process. Things is going to start happening to your body. And then you have to be spending, spending like crazy, beloved. I've seen the particular traits and pattern, and sometimes I said to myself, then why not take care of your body from the start, from the drum, from the beginning, right? Yeah, you will have people that save up their money, right? Yeah, and don't feed them body, even when their body is showing them the warning sign that you need to eat right. is when they're sick and unhealthy, then you, you see they're joined for the right food, right? The right vegetables, the right fruits to eat right when they could have do that in the beginning you get the drift guys so whoever you are listening in right now just take care of yourselves all right yes man because that's what god want for you god wants you to take care of you right and remember you guys because what somebody's listening in right now you are important in the eyes of god and you gotta understand beloved that taking care of your overall well-being is wealth indeed what i mean by that well let's see in deuteronomy 15 verse 26 hear what it says it says saying if you will diligently listen to the voice of the lord your god and do that which is right in his eyes and give ear to his commandments and keeps all his status i will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord, your healer. How powerful. So in Exodus 15, verse 26, God is reminding somebody today, listen to the one in sign of your body. Listen to the one in sign that you're hearing today and take care of your overall health because health is wealth, beloved. Right? Yes, when you're unhealthy, you can't function. You can't do anything, beloved. Right? So feed your body right now take care of you right now eat on time beloved eat right from now beloved because if you don't do that beloved if you don't listen to god's command for your life right yes then just like back in ancient times when the egyptian didn't want to listen to the one in sign from god what happened to them plagues of plagues reach them beloved left right and center so god is reminding somebody today don't be like the egyptian who don't listen to the one in sign of your body, who don't listen to the one in sign that you're hearing today, beloved, right? Yeah, because if you don't listen to the one in sign, guys, what happened? You're going to feel the consequences of your own action, beloved, right? When you don't listen, guys, right, you feel the what? The consequences of who? Your own action. Remember, guys, right? Yeah, the one in sign. Remember the instruction that God's, God is giving you today. The warning that God is giving somebody today. That you got to remember you. Because if you don't listen, beloved. Right? Yeah, then you're putting destruction upon your own self. Nobody is putting destruction upon you. But you doing it to your own body. To your own mind. To your own spirit. To your own overall being. As a man. As a woman. Indeed. Right? Remember, guys. That the Lord your God is your divine healer indeed. And nothing under the heavens is impossible for God to do 
for you who is listening in right now. So if you're a person listening in right now and you're sick in your body, God is your healer indeed, right? Yes, ask God today to for a divine intervention of your, your divine healing so God can heal your body in the mighty name of Jesus. So be encouraged to dive more deep into Exodus 15 verse 26 indeed. I have another Bible verse and it comes from Deuteronomy 7 verse 15. That's Deuteronomy 7 verse 15. Here what it says. It says, The Lord will take away from thee all sicknesses and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee. Right? Yes. So whoever you are listening in right now, God is saying to you that when you take care of your health, because health is wealth, Right When you follow his commandment and his instruction for your lives and feed your body on time and feed your body right indeed, right, no evil disease will befall you, whoever you are listening in right now. But if you don't listen and take heed to the one in sign, beloved, just like the Egyptian who didn't listen, they feel the what? The consequences of their own action indeed. So dive more deep into Deuteronomy 7 verse 15 indeed. I have another Bible verse and it comes from Jeremiah 33 verse 6 and it says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. How powerful. So right here in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 33 verse 6, it reminds somebody today, somebody is listening in right now, God is revealing to you that he is the cure to your sickness to your mental being as a man, as a woman indeed. And that's why God is revealing to somebody today in Jeremiah 33 verse 6. Behold, beloved, God is your cure. He's curing you right now. Somebody is sick listening in right now. Somebody is on your sick bed listening in right now. Somebody sitting on your sofa right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God is saying to you that I am your cure. I am healing you right now. And because you're hearing this message right now, God is moving Something in somebody's body today, God is rearranging the structures of your overall body and healing you. Because what? God is the cure, beloved. So re receive this healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And live in the abundance of peace and truth, beloved. This is the revelation for somebody today. That God is healing your mind, your body in the mighty name of Jesus. So dive more deep into Jeremiah 33, verse 6. Read that scripture for yourselves and meditate on that scripture and apply it in one's life. If you're that man or that woman listening in right now and you don't know how to read, there's no shame in the game. That's right. Somebody's listening in right now. If you can't read, beloved, just download your favorite Bible app. I'm encouraging somebody today to download your favorite Bible app and when you download your favorite Bible app, beloved, just punch in your favorite Bible scripture, beloved, and it will read for you automatically. All right, beloved, blessings, peace, and love. I hope you enjoy this day indeed, and I pray you have an awesome and a blessed day and a an wonderful and amazing and productive week. When it comes, beloved, walk good. Thank you.